Hello you guys, this is Abraxas, and I'm going to be showing you guys something kind of cool. This is the Galaxy IC1101, which if you don't know, it is the biggest galaxy that we have found in the observable universe so far. And this galaxy is huge. Incredibly huge. And I was reading around and apparently, if you increase the magnitude in this game, you could actually see this galaxy to its full potential. What Space Engine does, it actually decreases the magnitude for performance reasons. So all you can really see on the screen right now is about 20 stars. I'm recording this in 4K, but I'm also only recording this at 20 FPS. The reason for that is I don't really plan to move the camera too much, so I don't think a high frame rate is really necessary. For those people who are not actually watching in 4K, and are watching in like 1080p or something, if you actually boost the video up to 1440p or 4K, You'll actually see the video in a higher bitrate, which will increase the quality. So I recommend probably bumping it up to 1440 or something like that, just to get a better perception. But for those who actually want to see a full 4K image, or at least the window size I got going on here, um, there will be a link down in the description and down in the comments of a full high-res image of basically what I'm going to be showing here. So let's push this engine to its limits basically when I took a screenshot earlier what happened was the game crashed on me right after I took the screenshot so let's see how it handles recording so what I have to do is sit here and boost the magnitude and as I boost it you'll notice that the stars will incrementally get a lot brighter and you'll actually start seeing some more of them so I only saw about 20 or 30 at the start now I'm seeing more like a uh, hundred or 200 or something like that and if I keep increasing it, right now I'm actually starting to see thousands. And this light effect will actually slowly start to fade and you'll actually start seeing the stars that are really in this galaxy. So if I keep boosting it, here we go. And okay, now I'm starting to see thousands upon thousands of stars. For those of you viewing in 4K, you can actually see each individual one. I'm recording this at a fairly high bit rate. So, let's keep boosting it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my CPU fan just kicked up. Um, yeah, I'm running this on an overclocked i5-4690 right now. And, uh, yeah, it's just not having it. Uh, <laughs> I currently have it clocked at 4.3 GHz. I'm running this on a 970. And, uh... As you can tell, every time I increase the magnitude now, you could actually see the stars slowly appear in patches. So the engine is actually starting to bog down itself. And I'm sure my CPU usage is getting up to like 100%, and I'm going to take it kind of slowly now. But now you're starting to see the uh, galaxy for what it actually looks like in the game. You can see, what is this, millions of stars. Let's keep going. Every time we do this, it gets brighter and brighter. More stars actually appear. Okay, now I'm really lagging up the engine. I gotta take it slow. So, like I said, for those of you viewing in 4K, this is insane. <laughs> if I even tried to move the camera right now, the game would probably just crash. But, let's keep going. Let's keep going until it basically crashes. Okay, that's going really slow now. Starting to see like a dark effect over here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. But I think I've hit the uh, limit or something that the engine could actually render, and now it's just kind of calling out some stars or something. Okay, the game looks like it froze. Definitely got not responding. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Space Engine has stopped working. Okay, and that is how you basically push Space Engine to the limits. If you guys uh, like this video, leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. See you guys.